it's hard to keep up with life in general. Even as a mom and an entrepreneur, you have to find a way of balancing it up to make sure in the home front, all is well, and in your business, it does not suffer. Then you have to keep up with the social media, especially people like us that operate on different platforms. Our viewers are always waiting for the next video to drop. Likewise, in the home front, they are not expecting less. Hello viewers, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are well. I'm so sorry. Um, last week has been a roller coaster for me. That's why I've not, I didn't um, drop any video. But I said this week is going to, you know, the uh, narrative is going to change. Um, to all my new viewers, you're welcome. Thank you so much for wanting to watch this video. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I really miss you guys. I know it's just one week. But, you know, it's like I've been gone for a long time. Anyway, do you know that in one way or the other, women are the major decision maker in the home? Let me know in the comment section if you understand um, that statement. So in today's video, it's all about our cook day and we are making jello fries, fried goat meat stew, beef stew, um, quarter chicken, which we stewed, stewed beef, spicy gizzard. And of course, our signature large tilapia fish. On my cook day is always uh, very, very hectic because sometimes I have to squash all this um, food together. And at the same time, I'm still serving my customers. So I'm still cleaning up, making sure the kitchen looks perfect because you don't know. Sometimes your customers will want to come and pick up their food and you don't want their, you don't want your kitchen to look very, very dirty. So uh, this video is bits and bops. I'm going to be, you know, doing everything together, you know, cleaning and at the same time cooking and at the same time attending to the children. But right now they have all gone to school. So this has given me time to go to the market and back and you know pretty much doing everything so this is the goat meat i've washed it i've cooked it so i'm just taking it out from the pot so i'm going to set it aside where i'm going to um be frying it so let me know in the comment section are you um a multi would i say multi-skiller yeah i mean for you to be able to do this you have to be multi-skilled you have to be able to do so many things at the same time so um so on my cook day i don't usually cook much like you guys know i'll cook in little portions and um, so that i'll be able to sell it within two to three days so this is the chicken um these are quarter so i buy a whole chicken and they will just cut it into four for me so and at the same time the meat is cooking on this side so that is the chicken i wanted you guys to see it so um, I cut the leg and the thigh together. So the drumstick and the thigh. So like that. Then this is the beef. So I usually like them to cut my beef very, very big. The reason why is um, I do a lot of um, food with beef. And I have them in different sizes. So you can see how big it is. So when they cut it like this, then it will give me the liberty to cut the beef the way i want so the one for ayamashi is different from the stewed um chicken uh, stewed beef and um, the one i sell single is different from the one i sell in the um, beef stew so that is why i always have it um cut cut like this so are you a vendor do you cook let me know in the comment section how you do uh, do make yours so um because i'm cooking a lot of um stew i'm cooking beef stew and the goat meat stew so i'm going to be using this um tomato plum i'm having like um 16 of it so i'm just going to um, blend it and um use some tatashe and um and some rodo so i don't like to make it very very spicy because when you're cooking for the public you have to be very very mindful you have to balance it up that basically so this is the meat is ready i'm going to set it aside and i'm going to cut them i'm going to be showing you in the later course of this video so let's get the um pepper ready so this is i've gotten the tatashe and the um rodo ready and some onions 
So I'm just going to blend everything. So this is what I do when I pour it inside um, the blender like this. And um, so the can of the tomato of the tomato plum, I pour some water inside and I rinse it because you don't want these days you can't waste anything. Everything is useful. So I just rinse it, I pour it, I rinse it. I do that with all uh, the tops and everything. So um then I'll pour everything in the pot. I'm going to cook everything together. So I'm not, it's not like I'm going to be cooking it different, differently. So I'm going to cook the whole pepper together. Then I'll begin to apportion it later. So this is the um, goat meat. I'm going to fry it. And the beef, I'm going to cut it into the sizes that I want. So the goat meat, I don't like the way they cut the goat meat. It was very, very small. I think with the instruction I gave them, they didn't even follow. They didn't follow it. So I'm quite, quite upset because usually I always like like three in a bowl. But so, like this one, I'm going to have like probably like, like um, four inside. So this is the gizzard. Um, I've, um, this is what I'm going to cook it and wash it again. Then I will now cook it properly. So this is the second cooking. So that is when I will season it and I will like to cook very, very well. So I fried, sorry, I didn't bring it to your screen because I didn't want this video to be too, too long. So you can see I've cut this one. This beef is for the goat, I'm um, sorry, for the beef stew. So I cut it in different sizes. I'll cut medium and I'll cut small so that I'll balance um this the, the bowl up then this is the single beef that i sell so it's you can see it is bigger than the one i sell in the stew so then we'll be making um grilled fish our extra large grilled fish so i've seasoned it i've washed it and seasoned it and i've put it in the oven for it to cook so this is the sauce it is ready and i'm going to portion everything together so this is it the jollof rice the goat meat stew the beef stew the um, extra large um, fish and the stewed chicken and the gizzard everything is ready so i've left it it's going to be get it's going to get cold and before i'll now put it put it away so guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope you like it if you want to see more of my video and you're new here please make sure you subscribe to the channel and please this give this video a massive thumbs up like this video and please do share me out if you love me and i'll see you in my next video please make sure you watch the ad on this video i really appreciate it thank you so much thank you always for always coming back if you need anything please leave your um comments leave it in the comment section and i'll definitely you know answer you take care stay safe and god bless you guys bye